Okay. Okay, so we're now live on YouTube. So, kung nawala man kayo sa connection, tapos gusto nyong balikan, live tayo sa YouTube. So, naka-record siya. Pwede nyong balikan yung discussion natin. Okay, may question ba kayo dun sa mga pinapanood ko? May question ba kayo dun sa mga pinapanood ko sa inyo? May, meron bang hindi maliwanag? Wala po. Okay lang po. Wala po. Okay lang po. Ah, okay lang. So, sige. So, kung maliwanag naman lahat, we will be having a graded recitation today. Maliwanag So, okay lang. Okay, maliwanag pala. Isa-isahin ko na lang kayo. Ay. Tapos mag- <laughs> oh. Gusto ko unahin si Ano? Gusto ko unahin si Miss Aina Motol. Okay lang ba sa inyo 'yon, guys? Wala namang violent reaction. Naunahin opo, ko na opo. siya. Sure. Opo. Okay, Miss Aina, tatanungin lang kita. What did you learn from my video on YouTube? Kasi marami. Like what? Uh, Pag-compute po ng circle, tsaka po dun sa pagkuha po ng formula ng distance. Ba? <laughs> ano pa? Tsaka po yung pagkuha po ng, ng radius po. Okay. So, sa iba naman, kung nanood nga kayo ng YouTube videos ko talaga. Ano yung ginagawa natin kapag given ka ng ano, ng diameter? Ano yung ginagawa natin kapag given ka ng diameter? Dinidivide po sa 2. Bakit dinidivide sa 2? Sa tingin nyo, bakit kaya dinidivide sa 2? Kasi po, to find the radius po. Kaya po kayo. Twice po ng diameter yung radius po. Okay, so always half the diameter is the radius. Okay, so before we discuss our main topic for today, ito muna ako ng introduction para mas lalo nating maintindihan kung bakit yung circle ay nagkaganon. Kasi tingin nyo yung formula ng circle, bakit nakuha yung mga iba't ibang equations in quoting. Okay? May manipat tayo ah. Makakatayin ko yan. Wait lang, isasama ko lang isa kong account ha, para makapag-discuss ako. Medyo mahirap ako sa dito. Okay. So Okay. So magwa white screen na lang ako. Go white screen na lang ako para um, yung discussion ko sa inyo ay um, parang nagsusulat na lang ako. Wait lang guys ha. Just a minute to win it. Bagal ata ngayon ang ating laptop. Okay guys, may nakikita ba kayo sa screen? Ano nakikita niyo sa screen? Wala. Ayun, white po. Plain white and white screen po. Uh, 
Pare, bumabagal siya. Mag-join na nga lang ako dito. Okay, guys, nakikita nyo na yung nasa screen? Opo. 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 Okay, so our topic for today is just the introduction for conic sections and circles. So when we say pre-calculus kasi, it is just a preparatory or preparation for you before you enter or before you take the course of basic calculus. Therefore, pre-calculus is mainly, um, mainly it is all about um, analytic geometry and trigonometry. When we say analytic geometry, um, siya yung related sa mga shapes, just like the conic sections. At pag sinabi natin trigonometry, related siya sa trigonometric functions. And I hope na pag-aralan nyo yung iba doon. Some of them, na pag-aralan nyo na siya nung, uh, ano kayo, nung junior. So, medyo, alam ko na alala nyo pa siya. Ngayon, um, pag-aralan muna natin, ano ba yung mga dapat na natutunan nyo before kayo, nag, before kayo mag-take dapat ng pre-calculus. So, Uulitin ko lang yon. Ito yung tatlo. We have here the slope, the distance, and the midpoint. Naalala nyo pa ba yung pagkuha ng slope, distance, and midpoint nung um, junior high school pa lang kayo? Can you still remember kung paano siya kinukuha? Opo. Yes po. Okay, so sabi ng opo. Sige nga. Sino yun? Paano siya nakukuha? Sige, ano yung experience mo dati sa pagkuha nun? Sige nga guys. What is your experience before? So, 
Kung sinisumagot sa atin kanina na naaalala pa daw niya, ba't biglang nawala? In sa distance between P and Q po, if, if given po yung endpoints, yung diameter po, yun po yung pagkuha po, ng, yun po yung gagamitin yung distance formula para po makuha yung radius or yung diameter po. Tapos po, dun po sa midpoint and segment formula po, yun po yung gagamitin para po kunin yung center ng circle. Okay, very good, Mr. Dizon. So, palaban siya talaga, no? <laughs> very good, Mr. Dizon. So, yun yung naalala niya dati nung uh, junior high school. So ngayon, ito yung gagamitin nating formula para sa ating slope, distance, and midpoint. Okay. So when we say slope, it is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Saan ba galing yung y1, y2, x1, and x2? If you're given points, for example, that is P and Q, nakikita nyo dito sa screen nyo, yung P and Q coordinates niya is for uh, x and y. Yung q, x and y din. Pero kung sino yung unang point na ginamit mo, that, be that becomes point 1. At kung sino yung pangalawang point na ginamit mo, that becomes point 2. Okay, so maliwanag ba yun? Okay, for example, remember, remember that your formula for slope is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And in... Calculus, we will rewrite this as m, m is equal to delta y over delta x. Okay, bakit sinabi natin delta y over delta x? Sino pa ba kayong nakakaalala sa inyo? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng delta sa science, saka sa physics, or sa math? Ano ibig sabihin ng delta? Anyone? Symbol for change. Symbol for Symbol change. For change. Sa tingin nyo, bakit change? Bakit gumamit ng symbol for change? Because Pwede we are going we are going from one point to another. For example, our line is from point P. Our line is from point P going to point Q. Therefore, there is a change in the line. At nag-change din yung slope niya. Pag sinabi natin slope, ganito kasi siya. For example, ito yung line mo. Di ba pag sinabi natin slope, gano'n siya tumaas? Okay. Kaya nga, uy, yung hagdanan mo nakaslope ng 45 degrees. So, paano kaya nakuha yung 45 degrees? Nakuha yung 45 degrees sa pamamagitan ng points P and point Q using this slope of the segment PQ and that formula is delta Y over delta X. I have a question. Okay lang ba na pagbaligta rin natin si Y1 and Y2? Hindi what po. do you think? Hindi is po. it okay if Pwede we po. have interchange Y1 and Y2? What Hindi do you po. think? Pwede Hindi po. Hindi po. Hindi. Hindi po. Kasi po mababago yung value. Baka mababago yung value. Are you sure, Mr. Dizon? Yes, Any po. other? How sure are po. you? 100% sure po. Kasi po, if given na po yung seg... Yung formula, bakit po natin babago? Hindi po ba? Okay. So, actually, Mr. Dizon, it pwede. can be in the change. Yes, pwede nating pagbaligta rin. Why? For example, inuna mo naman si point 2. Ano yung magiging itsura ng formula natin? It becomes y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Is this clear? Di ba kanina, si y1 ang katapat si x1. Si Y2 ang katapat, si X2. Eh, sino bang katapat ni Y2 dun sa bago? Sino yung katapat ni Y2 dun sa bago? Formula X2. 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 Tingin mo magagawa ng problema kung binago na natin siya? Diba? So, okay lang kahit na pagbalikta rin natin siya as long as magkatapat si 2 at magkatapat si 1. Is that clear? Yes po. Okay, so, what is now the formula for distance? So, punta na tayo sa distance. Alam nyo na na kahit na anong gamitin natin sa dalawa na to, they, we will get the same slope. Okay, what is the formula for distance? For the distance, the symbol for distance is D. 
is equal to the square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared. Okay. Bakit kaya naging delta x saka delta y na naman? Kasi there is what? There is a change in points. Okay. So, pag simplify natin to, magiging ganito siya. At magiging ganito si y. Therefore, the formula for the distance is square root of x1 minus x2 quantity squared plus y1 minus y2 quantity squared. I have the same question. I have the same question for all of you. Do you think it is okay to interchange x2 and x1 and y2 and y1? Yes or no? Is it okay? No. What? No. Why not? Uh, yes. Oh, ngayon, si Mr. Dizon tawag nito ulit ha. Bakit nagbago yung isip mo naman ngayon? Bakit nag-yes ka naman? Kasi po kung pagbabalik ta rin po natin at yung magiging formula po is quantity square root of quantity of x squared minus x1 quantity squared plus y squared minus y 1 squared. Ganun pa rin po yung value niya. Kasi? Kasi po, yung magiging y yung y2 po, magiging y1 na po ulit. Okay, very good. It is okay to interchange. Why? Kasi kahit na pagbalibalik na rin mo, magiging positive pa rin siya. Bakit siya magiging positive? Sa tingin nyo, bakit siya magiging positive? Kasi po, i-square. Very good. Kasi i-square na natin siya. Kaya kahit na negative yung makuha natin, kaya lang na magkabaligtad. Maliwanag. Okay, kasi it will always become positive because of the square. Mamaya malalaman nyo na kung ilang magpagbalik na rin. For example natin. Okay, so midpoint. Ano ba yung sabihin ng midpoint? Sa kakaalala nyo? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng midpoint? Sige nga. Yung point When we say midpoint. The center from point A to point B po. Okay, when we say midpoint, we are also getting the, when we say midpoint, we are also getting the center. center. Is that clear? Okay, at ano yung formula sa midpoint? All you have to do is to get the average of x and average of y. Pag sinabi natin average of x at average of y, yung coordinates ng x at y, at ang, yung dalawang coordinates ng x ay i-add lang natin, i-divide natin sa 2. Therefore, this becomes x1 plus x2 over 2. At yung coordinate ng y, which is y1 plus y2, is i-divide lang natin siya sa 2. And that is the midpoint of the line segment. Okay. Also, for example, you are given a diameter. Ang tagal magbura. Okay. So, for example, you are given a diameter. Okay, this is our diameter, this is our point A, this is our point B, and always remember that this is the midpoint and that is our center. So, pag nag-drawing ka ng circle, magiging ganyan siya. Okay, this becomes our radius. The distance from the center going to B is the radius. The distance of the center going to A is also the radius. Therefore, what is R plus R? What is R plus R? Diameter. That is diameter. diameter. Very good. This is our diameter. Our because twice the radius is the diameter. And half of the diameter is the radius. Are we clear about that? Yes. Are we clear? Yes. Okay, so let's move on. Medyo please ba guys? Or okay lang yung discussion natin? Okay naman? Okay, what if we're given here an example? Sige nga, try natin. What if we're given here two points, A and B? Point A is 5, 2. While point B is 0 and negative. Okay. Sabihin nyo, sino yung point 1 dyan at sino yung point 2? Sabihin natin, A is point 1. Therefore, B is point 2. Is that okay? Okay. Therefore, what is the value of x1? 5. What is the value of x1? 5. Therefore, that is x1. What is the value of x2? 
Zero. 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 Very good. So that is zero. What zero. is the value of Y2? Negative two. 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 What is the value of two? Y1? Two. 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 Okay, so we're now ready to answer. Ito mo na mga may ingay, ha? May manok pa, eh. Okay. What is the formula for slope? Anyone? That is delta y over delta x. Or it becomes y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Tama ba? Ano yung isa nating formula? What is the other formula? The other formula is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Right? Okay. Subukan natin pareho. Tingnan natin kung magkakaiba. Kasi baka mamaya hindi pa naniniwala sa inyo. Marami pang hindi naniniwala sa inyo na pinisperchad, magkakaiba lang ito yung solve. Eh, bakit ganun? Bakit parang iba ata yung nasa-solve ko? Okay. Subukan natin ngayon kung magiging magkamukha. What is Y2, guys? What is our Y2? Negative 2. Negative 2. What is our Y1? 2. 2. 2. 2. Over. Uh, two. 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 Zero. 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 What is our x-ray? Five. 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 Okay. Negative two minus two. Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Negative 5. Negative 5. Negative 5. Negative 5. What is negative over negative? Positive. Positive. Therefore, what is the final answer? 4. 4. 4. 4. 5. Final answer is? 4. 5. Okay. 5. Answer. Tingnan natin. Tingnan natin kung magiging kamukha yung answer niya dito. Tingnan, what is Y1? 2. 2. Two. 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 What is Y2? Negative, Negative two. two. Negative two. Over. What is X1? Five. 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 What is X2? Zero. 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 Negative. Negative. It becomes... Positive. 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 What is two plus two? Four. 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 What is zero. Five. Minus zero? Four over five. 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 You have the same answer. Yes. 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 Therefore, regardless Forever of the formula, yes. from point two or point one, we will be getting the same answer. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. So, the now move on to the distance. Ako yes. tuturo ang ko kayo ng mas kilos. Ano na kuha nating slope kanina? Four over five. Four over five. Right. Four over five. Bin na kuha nating slope kanina, de ba? Four over five. Yes. Yes. Uh, makinig mo ng mabuti, ganito yung ginagawa kong technique para ako hindi ako nahihirapan, ganito lang. So, ang ginagawa ko, naglalagay ako ng equal sign sa baba ng dalawang point. Ang gagawin ko, pag mamainusin ko siya, 5 minus 0, 5. 2 minus, 2 minus negative 2. That is 4. Okay, therefore, this is the slope. 4 over 5. Tama? Yes, po. Okay. Next, sa distance, this is the slope ha. Ito, slope na natin. Sa distance, ang gagawin ko naman, i-square ko sila. I-square ko sila. 5 squared. Ilan? 25. 25. What is 4 squared? 16. 16. What is 25 plus 16? 41. 41. Therefore, the answer is, is square root of 41. 41. Are we clear? Mas mabilis ba siya? Yes. yes. Uh, yes. How about for the midpoint? How about for the midpoint? Sa midpoint, napakadali lang, guys. 
Sa midpoint, ang gagawin natin, ia-add lang natin itong dalawa na to. Di-divide natin sa 2. 5 plus 0. 5. 5. 5. 4. 1 point is 5, 5 over 2. Over two. The other one is 2 plus negative 2. Anong mangyayari kay 2 plus negative 2? 0. 0. 0. 0 over 2. And what is 0 over 2, guys? What zero. is 0 over 2? 0. zero. Those are the midpoint now is 5 over 2 and 0. Are we clear? Yes, Bob. Okay, this Any questions before we move on? None. Yes, what is the question? Meron ba? Sir. Wala? Okay, so kung wala, let's move on. Kasi nakapag-move on na ako eh. Sana kayo rin. O ba tumahimik kayo? Hindi pa siguro kayo nakapag-move on. No? Okay, guys, please screenshot this one. This is your assignment. Paki-screenshot. Okay na? Namiss ko naman magbigay ng assignment. Meron na susulat eh. Okay. So, let's now move on. Okay, tingnan mabuti yung graph. Actually, there are four types of conic section. Okay. The first one is hyperbola. So, paano ba natin nakukuha yung hyperbola? For example, you have here a cone. Okay. And you have a vertical plane. Kapag may vertical plane ka dyan at kinat mo siya from base to base, ang lalabas is this one. Nakikita ba? Okay. So, pag kinat mo siya from base to base, ang lalabas sa atin is hyperbola. Okay, e paano naman pag kinat natin yung parabola from one base to its slant height? Slant height. Ang lalabas naman sa atin is parabola. Okay, e paano kung kinat naman natin ng diagonal axis yung ating cone? Okay, for example, just like this one, from slant height to slant height, kinat natin siya. Anong lalabas? Ang makikita natin doon is an ellipse. Oh, for example, si Sir Jad, gustong mag-dessert, nag-ice cream. Nag-ice cream si Sir Jad, kumuha ko ng cone. Kinagat ko lahat ng ice cream, na ubos. Yung ice cream, natira yung cone. Ibinaba ngayon ni Sir Jad yung cone. Tapos sinilip niya pababa. Ano yung nakita niyang shape ng sinilip niya? Circle. Circle, very good. Therefore, our topic for today is all about circles. Is that clear? Yes, okay. Sir. Yes. Pag sinilip mo siya pababa, iba na ba mo yung cone, mula, mula sa taas ka, sinilip mo siya dun sa baba, ang makikita mong shape is a circle. Okay, so what is a circle? Sige nga, kung nagbasa na kayo, ano yung naaalala nyo, what is a circle? Circle is the set of all points that, it, that is equidistant from the center. Okay. Napaka-ready talaga ni Mr. Dizon. I like your attitude. Parang ako nga ako yan high school. Thank you, I'm so ma. competitive. Talagang bawat isang tanong ng teacher ko, Ma'am, Sir, ako, I know that. Napag-aralan ko yan. Okay, very good. So, pag sinabi natin circle, ang isa sa word na, na sinabi ni Mr. Dizon na natandaan ko is equidistant. Tama? Yun ba yung narinig ko, Mr. Dizon? Yes po. Okay, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng equidistant? Paliwanag mo nga sa amin, Mr. Dison, kasi medyo nakalimutan ko ata yung ibig sabihin ng equidistant. Gusto kong marinig, tapos sabihin mo din sa mga kaklase mo kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng equidistant. Hindi po ako siya, pero parang malayo po sa center. Ah, yun ba yung ibig sabihin ng equidistant? 
I'm not sure that I'm not sure sir. Okay. So eto, pag sinabi nating equidistant, for example, this is your circle. Ayo magdrawing ng mabuti nung pen ko. Lobat na ata. Okay, if this is your circle, when we say equidistant, anong ibig sabihin ng equi? Equal. Equal. Okay? Equi, that is equal. Pag sinabi natin distant, distance, ibig sabihin they are equal in terms of their distance. Are we clear? Therefore, pag yeah. sinabi natin, pag sinabi natin equidistant, this is our center, this is the radius. Ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng radius dyan is equidistant. Pag sinabi natin equidistant, lahat yan ay isa lang yung distansya mula sa center. Nagba, kunwari, meron kang pizza pie. Ay, umorder ka. Saan mo ba gusto? Sa pizza galore? Or sa, ano, dun sa may mga Lebanese? Tawag dun, umbrella pizza. Umbrella pizza. Diba? SNR. Pizza galore pa ba yun? Ano bang tawag dun sa isang tindahan ng pizza? Yung nasa night market, yung dalawang magkalaban. Princess Pizza. Princess Pizza. Princess. Princess. Princess kasi dati, kasi nung dati, nung bata ako, pizza galore yun. Pero ngayon, pinalitan na lang ng pangalan Princess Pizza na. Okay. So, pag nagpakat ka dun, kahit na anong kakuha mo, basta sa gitna nila, nilagay nila yung tamang radius at nag-cut sila ng nag-cut dun, always remember na lahat ng slice na makukuha mo, yung radius niya will always be equal. So, minsan pag umorder ka ng pizza, sukatin mo. Tingnan nga natin kung equal, baka mamaya pinaglolo ko kami nung surgeon na to. Ah. Nilolo ko ata kami nun. Ah. Okay, so that is the meaning of equidistant. Okay? So, let's now have here another definition of the, the circle. Okay, when we say circle, it is the locus of all points in the plane having the same fixed positive distance from a fixed point. And when we say positive distance, that is the radius. Always remember that radius will always be positive. Pakitandaan, kapag nagkaroon ka or nakuha ka ng negative radius, your answer is wrong because there is no negative radius because it is a distance. Maliwanag, ha? O kung natin, for example, sige, sabihin mo, baka mamaya niloloko na naman ako ni Sir Jed, bakit sabi wala daw negative distance pero ang nasold ko, negative yung radius. Okay, ganito na lang. O pumunta ka sa ano, pumunta ka sa Jollibee mula sa bahay nyo. Tapos may nakita kang ano, may nakita kang signage, 100 meters to Jollibee. Tapos sasabihin mo sa nanay mo, Nay, nagpunta ako sa Jollibee. Negative 100 meters yung distansya. Meron bang negative 100 meters na distansya? There is no negative distance. Always remember na pag nagkaroon siya, naglagyan siya ng negative, it becomes a displacement. And negatives states if it is going upward, if it is going downward, if it is going to the right, or if it is going to the left. Therefore, pag nakakita kayo ng sign, na positive or negative dun sa distance na meron kayo, it includes direction. Pero always remember that distances are always positive. Ah, okay. So, from a fixed point, that fixed point is the, ano ba yung fixed point na yon? Ano da yung fixed point na yon? It is the? Center. 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 Okay. And this is now the formula. Alam ko, so yung suyan na kayo sa formula na to. Kasi ang dami kong pinasolve sa module nyo, puro yan yung formula na ginamit nyo. Tama ba? Okay? E, paano naman kunwari yung center located at 0, 0 or at the origin? Are we still using the same formula? No. No. What do you... No! Okay. What is the formula then? If it is not the formula, okay. what is the formula then? Y X squared plus squared y, y squared equals, equals r squared. squared. Very good. This will now be our formula. Ano kaya yung tawag sa dalawa na to? Sige nga, what do we call to these two? Standard form of a circle. Very good. That is the standard form or there is another word or another term for this one. We call that what? Anong, anong nakita nyo? Oh, guys, anong nakita? Equation. 
Equation, equation of circle. Equation of the circle. Standard equation of a circle. Of the circle. Um, nakita nyo ito sa given. Anong nakita nyo? Ito ko, binilugan ko. Center. 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 Meron ding? Radius. 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 Ang tawag sa kanya, we call this as center radius form. Is that clear? We also call this as the center radius form. So, dalawa yung tawag sa kanya. It's either standard form or the center radius form. So, let's now try to apply. Okay, i-apply naman natin kung ano yung natutunan natin dito sa mga equation na to. Okay. Sige nga, pakisagutan kung napanood nyo nga talaga yung video ko sa YouTube. I'll be giving you a minute to answer. What is the equation of the circle with its center at 2, negative 5 and radius 3? X minus quantity squared plus Y plus 5 quantity Mr. squared Dizon. equals... Mr. Tison, wait mo na tawagin kita. So nagsasagot pa iba. Hindi pa tapos yung one minute. Rick, what is your answer? Uh, okay, someone raise her hand. Okay, siya na lang. Fiona, what is your answer? Okay, so okay wait lang ha. If you, gusto nyo magsagot, pwedeng pindutin nyo yung reaction. May reaction tayo, di ba? Sabi dyan sa reaction, you could raise your hands. Is that clear? Meron dyan sa reaction nyo? Makikita nyo? To raise your hand. Nakita ba siya? Meron dyan sa mga reaction. Okay? So Fiona, what is your answer? X, X minus 2 squared plus Y plus 5 squared equals 9 po. Okay, did you, did you get the same answer? Nakuha yes. ba lahat to? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Direct substitution lang siya ng formula natin. Tama? Yes, Apa. Yes, okay, so because this is direct substitution, mabilis na mabilis lang talaga natin siyang makukuha. Okay, let's have another. Let's have another. Clear ko lang. Sige nga. Okay. 
Those who would like to answer, please raise your hand. Using the reaction. Yes, Mr. Conception. Yes, Mr. Conception? X squared plus Y squared is equal to 5. X squared plus Y, y squared, squared is... is equal to 5. Okay, meron pa bang ibang may sagot dito? Anyone? Meron pa bang may ibang may sagot dito? Please open your mic kung meron ka pang ibang sagot other than this. Meron ba? Open your mic and then state your answer. Sabihin mo kung ano yung sagot na nakuha mo. Okay, very good. This is the correct answer. Pero paano kaya niya nakuha yun? Kasi di ba sabi sa atin, yung radius daw equal to square root of 5. Okay. Remember that we are getting R squared. At kapag kumukuha tayo ng R squared, we are squaring the square root. Okay. At kapag ganyan, nagka-cancel palagi yung square root. Matitira sa R squared natin is 5. Is this clear? Okay. Ito na kaya kung meron akong ganito. Meron akong... Ito yung example ko. Pinalitan ko ngayon. Pinalitan ko si radius. Kunwari hindi square root of 5 yan. Kunwari ang ginawa ko dyan is square root of 11. What will be the answer? What will be the answer then? Please raise your hands. Please raise your hands. Yes, Miss Mangas. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 11. X squared plus Y squared is equal to? 11. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, what if kaya meron akong ano, meron akong um kunari ginawa ko naman siyang ano, ginawa ko siyang ginawa ko siyang 2 square root of 5. Sige nga, what if paano ginawa ko yung radius 2 square root of 5? What do you think will be the equation of the circle? Please raise your hand if you would like to answer. Who is this one? Yung nag-clap? Sino yung nag-clap? Sino yung nag-reaction ng clap? Sir, ako po. Okay, Miss Balesteros, right? Apo. Okay, so what is your answer? Sige nga, Miss Balesteros. What is the answer? X, X squared plus Y squared is equal to 20. Is equal to 20? Are you sure? Apo. How sure are you? 100% po, sir. Okay, so let's try naman Miss Aina, si Miss Aina Motol. Aina Motol, are you here? Yes po, sir. What's your answer? Sige nga, Miss Aina. X squared plus Y squared equals squared of 2 over 5. Square root of? 2 over 5. Ganito ba? Hindi po. Ah, hindi. Eh, paano ba? Si Tama no? <laughs> Ganyan. Apo, square, square to 2 over 5 po. Ah, ganito. 2 square root of 5 squared. Hindi po, sir. Square root of 2 over 5 po. Ah, okay. Square root of 2 over 5. Tama? Apo. Okay, any other answer? Who would like to answer this one? I would like to see different hands, different faces. Who would like to answer? Yes, yes Miss Santillan, are you here? Uh, X squared plus Y squared equals 2 square root of 5 times 1. Square root of 5 times? 1. 
One. Any other answer? Who would like to? Yes, Mr. Sandig. X squared, like plus, to... X squared plus Y squared equals to 10. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 10. Are you sure? Yes, po. Okay, let's have another answer. <laughs> yes, Mr. Miranda. What is your answer? Sir, gano'n rin sagot ko eh. X squared plus Y squared equals to 10. Okay. Any other answer? Ibig sabihin, naniniwala ka kay Mr. Sandig, Mr. Miranda. <laughs> Kopya. Sir, sir, meron akong solve. Okay. Any other answer? Mr. Asosano. Sir, X squared plus Y squared equals 5 over 2. X squared is equal to 5 over 2. Any okay. other answers? <gasps> the student who got this correctly, magkakaroon siya ng plus 5 sa first written exam natin. Paano ba ito? Hindi ko din alam. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 4. Another answer? X squared plus Y squared is equal to 4. Um, Miss De La Pita. Sir, yung una. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 4 po. Okay, another answer? Sir. What's that? Yes, Mr. Balmes. Yung una, sir. Mr. Balmes. Yung una po. Yung una na, ito. Yung 20 po, kasi i-distribute nyo po yun eh. Ah, okay. Yes, Mr. Mr. Aris. X squared plus Y squared equals square root of 5 po. Square root of 5? Okay. Piliin na natin kung sino may tamang sagot. Piliin na natin kung sino may tamang Ay, five sagot. 5 lang po pala, sir. 5 lang okay. po. So, i-clear ko lang sir, yung 3. Uh, sige, 5. Okay. So, if you have here, square root of 5, we need to square this one. So, kung square natin, ganito yung magiging isura niya. This becomes... 2 squared times square root of 5 squared. 2 squared. 4. 4. 4. 100. 5 po. 4 times 4 times 5. 20 po. 20 po. X squared y squared is equal to 20. Okay, are we clear? Papa. Okay, so that is the correct answer. So I guess that is the last example because ano na siya, four na or can we still have another one? So last na last na example na okay lang or may klase pa ba kayo after this one? Meron pa po. Meron ba? Alam ko hanggang four lang lahat ng STEM. Meron po. Communication. Ah, okay last na to. Okay, I'll give you one minute to answer. Center is at the origin and diameter is 16 units. Mr. Yes. Mr. Nunez. Oh. What is the answer? Alaba po. Delina. Thank you. 
Who would like to answer? Na hindi ko pa natatawag. X squared plus Y squared equals 64 po. Wait lang. Pero mga ulab na. Mr. Mangulad. Okay na, Mr. Nunez. Na-solve na. Diameter. Parang mga diameter. Okay. Sige nga, Aaron. What is the answer? Ay, hindi. Ito na lang. Si, ano pa kala nito? Yung nakasando pa, na may background na hollow blocks. Share ako po ba yan? Nikasyo. Kutanda. X squared plus Y squared is, is equal to 64. Bakit naging 64? Sure, kasi po, um, yung kalati po ng 16, di ba po, 8. Tapos 8 squared okay. po, 1964. Okay, and that is the radius. Therefore, R squared is 8 squared, and that is 64. Are we clear? Okay, any other questions before we... Wala na po. Wala na po. Okay, may questions ba? If you have a question, do not hesitate. Uh, pwede kang mag-message ng kung gusto mong mag no? Kasi mahirap yung hindi nagtatanong pag um, pag may mga ganitong class, especially in mathematics. Ako ngayon, nire-regret ko pa rin yung hindi ko pagtatanong sa teacher ko ng mga tanong na nasa isip ko nung high school. Kaya sobrang nahirapan ako nun sa engineering because kinimkim ko lahat ng mga tanong ko na hindi naman nasagot nung mga kaklase ko. Kasi most likely sa mga kaklase ako nagtatanong kung hindi siya kung hindi ko tinanong dun sa teacher ko. So ngayon I am giving you the chance kasi um sasagutin ko naman ng maayos yung mga questions na meron kayo. And I hope okay yung ano natin, okay yung online class natin. Okay naman ba yung exchange ng ideas? Okay naman yung transfer ng knowledge from me to you guys? So, okay lang naman hindi. Wala po. Yes po. Yes po. Yes po, sir. Maliwanag naman. Sana maliwanag lahat. Kasi medyo nag adjust pa rin tayo. Medyo nawawalan-walan ako ng internet. Kasi andito ako ngayon sa school. Ayan, sa school ako kung makikita nyo. Sa school ako. Sa room ako ngayon. Kaya... Medyo mabagal yung internet dito compared dun sa bahay namin. Kanina kasi nag-try ako na habang nag-discuss, andun ako sa board. So, dalawang camera yung ginagamit ko. Ayun yung board. So, trinay ko din. Tapos ngayon, trinay ko na naman ulit na gamit yung pencil, yung eye pen ko para pang kulat. So, I guess wala nang tanong or may tanong pa ba? Or lahat maliwanag na sa circle. Next meeting, um... Doon naman tayo sa iba't ibang conditions meron yung circle. For example, is it concentric? Is the area twice the area of that circle? And we will also be discussing the general form of the circle. We're done discussing the standard or the center radius form. Next meeting, we will be discussing the general form or the standard or the general um, equation of a circle. I hope everything is clear and everyone... Um, is already adjusted na dun sa setup na meron tayo kasi kahit kaming mga teachers nahihirapan kaming mag-adjust dito sa new normal. So what more pa yung mga isunyante natin. So if you have problems regarding the attendance or if you have problems 
regarding dun sa discussion natin, don't worry, this discussion is being recorded. Lahat ng pinag-usapan natin, lahat ng diniscuss ko sa inyo ay naka-record and you could find it sa aking YouTube channel. So, nandun siya kung may gusto kayong balikan at hindi nyo masyadong naintindihan. Okay, Nikasyo, bakit nakataas pa yung kamay mo? May tatanong ka ba? Sorry po, sorry. Okay, it's love. Okay, may questions. Kung wala ng questions, open nyo na lahat yung mic nyo. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye sir. Bye, sir. Bye, bye, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Bye, sir. Sir. Yung mga manok. Sabon ko. Ito na yung kanila. Tinuha lang, no? Okay.